Hi again, everybody. Welcome on in. This week we join you from Tempe Diablo Stadium, the home of the Angels, Otani and company right around the corner, just a couple of weeks away. They will be here for spring training. And as always, we take you around the great state of Arizona as you're making your plans to come out here for the spring to watch baseball, where to stay, where to eat, where to play, where to have fun, all that. We bring it to you week in and week out here on the Baseball AZ Show. Now, on tonight's show, Rick Bronson's House of Comedy. We're going to take you there tonight. You're going to check into a comedy club after you see spring training games. Claudia Collins will take you out on the rocks. We'll take you to Bourbon Steak at the Princess Resort. Great place to eat, have some fun. Eliav's Eats is out and about, and much more as we take you through spring training all the way up until the end of March. Bridget Binsbacher, Executive Director of the Cactus League, is with us for a couple of minutes. So when you come out here, she is the one that's overseen all of this and all of these teams. It's a daunting task or no? Well, it's exciting. It's, you know, look at the end result and what it brings for to Arizona and tourism and the state's economy. So I am thrilled to serve as the one voice uh, representing the Cactus League industry and the best interest of the industry in Arizona. People are watching this across the network and they're saying, OK, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to see a game from like 11 until 4. But there's so much more to that, isn't there? So much more. So, you know, we, the Cactus League Baseball Association does an economic impact study every other year. And obviously the last three years have been unique and yep. different and challenging. And so we, our last normal study was 2018 and that's where we show the $644 million direct impact. Wow. 6,000 jobs. Uh, you know, the tax revenue, the influx of tourism that, tourists that come to Arizona because of spring training. But as a result of that, you know, uh, six out of 10, and that is from, you know, 1.7 million coming to spring training games, six out of 10 are going somewhere else in Arizona to see you know, one or multiple amazing attractions that Arizona has to offer. Which we have a ton of, we have a ton of. And when you look at markets of people that come out here, let's just use, for example, the Guardians and the Reds. They're relatively new in terms of the Cactus League, but are you seeing that side of, of the valley over in Goodyear being impacted by people coming out from that part of the country now. Definitely, the impact is across the league. And the beauty of that is that they're coming to their facilities to see their favorite team up close and personal. But as a result of that, they're staying four nights, they're visiting other places throughout the state. So the impact isn't just to that facility and that host city. It really does impact all of Arizona, and that's that's the beauty of it. It's it, you know, what started as, you know, uh, just a small, intimate, social experience yep. has become a driver of the state's economy and tourism in Arizona. That's true. That's true. I mean, we're in a space right now where, in a few weeks, we're going to have a Super Bowl here. We're going to have the WM Open, a golf tournament that's going to get three quarters of a million people. This will dwarf those numbers like in the first couple of days you'll be able to boom past those numbers it's significant you know and it's five weeks long so but when you compound the impact it isn't just the fans it's the teams it's yeah. the media and all that comes with it so and it only happens two places in the country it only happens two places in the country and arizona is one of those places and we do it better than anyone what's funny about all that bridget is i'm running into people that are saying well we have Barrett Jackson right now, and these are hotel folks and diners, and and yeah, it's a tidal wave. It's it's going to be here for like the next nine, ten weeks, all the way until the Cactus League ends at the end of March. Anything else you want to add? I haven't asked you. We're open for business in Peoria, and we're ready for the influx of tourists that come to Arizona. We know how to do that. The season starts the 24th, and so that's a great opportunity for locals to have access before the influx of tourists come, they can come and you know get their pick of seats mm -hmm. early on. The demand is not as great. And you know, remember that at a especially at a facility like Tempe Diablo, when you come through the gates, 
Many times the person taking your ticket, um, ushering you to your seat, those are volunteers. When you come out here to a game at this stadium, Angel fans, the Diablos are a terrific civic group and they sit there and there's ticket takers that are businessmen and women that are leaders around Arizona, they're part of the Diablos. So it's not just a college student that's coming over there and doing it, which is a really cool part of this whole Cactus League experience. Yes, it is. It's so much more than baseball, yet um, look at the memories that we make, you know, and the opportunities that we realize as a result of America's favorite pastime. Thanks for the visit. Thank you. Remember, the Fairmont Scottsdale Princess, that is the place to stay when you're coming here for spring training. You'll want to stay at the Fairmont Scottsdale Princess easy access to all 15 of the spring training facilities. That's the Fairmont Scottsdale Princess. So we're Bourbon Steak here at the Princess Resort. And when you're talking about the nicest steakhouse in Arizona to hit, when you're out here for spring training, you finish your day. I've already golfed, I've had my facial. Now I wanna to go to dinner. Bourbon Steak and Chef Sarah, she delivers. Now it's time to eat. And Sarah, you have hooked me up. It looks, first of all, we're gonna put the phone away because we're gonna enjoy dinner. Second of all, what do we have here? Um, we have a couple nice appetizers. This is our hamachi crudo with a ponzu gel. And this is Michael Mina's signature tartare. Oh. Yeah, Oof. fresh, clean, delicious, light flavors start to start off your night with. You've been here how long? I'm going on five years now. Five years. Now, people that stay at a place five years means they really like the place. What makes it so special here at Bourbon Steak for you? I mean, it's a good combination. The team that we have here really just cares about the food, cares about the product, cares about the end experience that hits the table. Um, and then the quality of ingredients that we get in is all top shelf. So this is our Snake River Farms Wagyu New York with uh, roasted vegetable skewers, Toshito peppers, mushrooms, and Cipollini onions on there. Uh, we have some uh, red wine shallot butter. We're gonna give everything a good base and then uh, smoke it with some hay. Fire away. Fire away. Do I need to step back here? I think you'll be safe. Yeah, you can get safe. in close. All right, all right, all right. Now there's an art to this, and obviously you know how to do the art. Yes, more butter, the more better. <laughs> more butter, the more better. I like that. That's good. I'll remember that. Oh, oh man. Let's give these this little butter up here. Oh, that smells so yeah, good. Yeah, you smell that hay, all those aromatics. Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. All right. While it's still got a little smoke, I'm gonna dome this real quick. Okay. Let that smoke build up in there. All right. We'll get ready to slice it up, share it with your friends. Yeah, so this seems pretty simple. And for people to come sit down and have dining and elegance for something like this, is this your favorite dish to prepare? This is one of them. We have a, a few that are very fun and like whimsical and just really make an experience out of dining. It's not I just like go whimsical. out, eat your, eat your steak. Yeah, yeah. Oh, food, the whole, good. yeah, dinner oh, and a good. show. Dinner no, and a show. That's great. <laughs> that's, no, that's great. So you ready? Yep, gonna fire away. Unsmoke this guy. Oh, smell that. Lovely. Ooh. Can I touch? You can touch. Okay. Yes. Oh my goodness. I just don't want to dive right in and have Chef <laughs> get mad at me. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have we have plates and yeah, forks yeah, and I'm, you know. I'm, I'm kind of a caveman, <laughs> yeah. Sarah. You're when not it comes at the stadium in. anymore. <laughs> right. right. Sarah, this looks amazing. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, this is our seasonal Brussels sprouts with a teriyaki glaze. Mm. This is our uh, our steakhouse loaded potato. Oh. So we have a bacon marmalade with like a red onion and brandy in there. Um, American cheese sauce on the top, finished with some chives, black pepper creme fraiche, and then butter. So yeah, that. she's loaded. The presentation of my plate is just beautiful. Extremes of I've had a really good day <laughs> right? of being out at places and things. And to finish it with Chef Sarah here at Bourbon Steak is what you can do when you're out here for spring training. We're gonna enjoy our meal. I think uh, the experience here is the perfect comedy experience. On the other side, High Street is a place you're gonna wanna check out. That's where you'll find House of Comedy and Claudia Collins on the rocks around Arizona as we continue on Brad Sussmat's Spring Training AZ.
It's spring, so come for the games. Then extend your adventure in Arizona. Ready to go big? Find your fun today. Discover more play for all at Harrah's Ok Chin Casino. Hi, folks. Here your drink. Where having fun means racking up reward credits with the Caesars Rewards Loyalty Program that can be redeemed for food, free play, hotel stays, and more. Not only here in the city of Maricopa, but also at more than 50 Caesars properties coast to coast. From Harrah's Las Vegas, the Caesars Palace in Atlantic City. What are you waiting for? Play for all at Harrah's Ok Chin Casino, the official sponsor of play. Welcome to On the Rocks. I'm your trail guide, Claudia Collins, and I'm taking you along for my adventures as I check hikes, waterfalls, and other outdoor activities off of my Arizona bucket list. Today we're hiking Butcher Jones Trail. Butcher Jones Trail is a 5.8 mile out and back trail with 636 feet of elevation gain and it's rated moderate. Welcome to my favorite hike in all of Arizona. And I'm not just saying that, this really is the hike that I bring all my friends and family out to check out when they come to visit because it has everything that Arizona has to offer. So let's go check it out. This trailhead is within an hour and a half drive from all of the spring training facilities in the valley, with stadiums and Mesa being a close 35 minute drive into the National Forest. But regardless of if you're in surprise watching the Rangers or Royals, or if you're in Mesa cheering on the Cubs, or checking out any of the games in between, I promise this hike is worth the trip. This is the part of the hike that I famously like to call the Deathly Hollows. It just gives off a spooky vibe. After a few minutes of hiking through the hollows, you end up right beside the lake. No matter the time of year, the lake is always this beautiful deep shade of blue. Today I decided to hike Butcher Jones in the late afternoon so we could wrap up around sunset. It won't be long before you see just why this trail is so special. You gain and drop elevation a lot in the beginning, but it's not too strenuous. And it won't be long until you're at the most stunning lookout point. To me, this right here is one of the most magical views in all of Arizona. It gives off kind of Game of Thrones vibes. This hike has been my favorite hike and viewpoint for years. I've hiked this trail a dozen times and it was on our fifth or sixth visit to this hike that my husband actually proposed to me at this viewpoint. So now you know just how amazing I think this place is. The jagged cliffs emerging from the water are just so mesmerizing and you can see so far into the distance, you really feel like you're in the middle of a desert oasis. I know what you were thinking, can we actually get to the lake? And yes, you can. Right here at this peninsula, there's a little bit of beach access if you wanna refresh in the hotter months. On this particular day, it was a bit too cold for that. 
As always, on any hike in Arizona, remember to leave only footprints. It's so important to pack out what you packed in to keep these trails beautiful. I recommend looking at all the signs you pass to make sure you're on the correct path, but you won't easily get lost, especially if you use the All Trails app. We've almost made it to the end, but now we've got a big choice to make. Are we gonna go to Burroughs Cove or to the shoreline access? We'll leave the decision up to Mia. The other view will just have to be a surprise. Okay, this way it is. Today we're heading to Burroughs Cove, but when you come on this hike, I suggest going to both. It doesn't add too much time and both viewpoints have something special and unique to offer. We've made it to the end and I'm sure by now you can see why I take friends and family along for this hike. We've got beautiful views of the jagged cliffs to the south coming out of the water and over behind us to the east. We've got epic views of Four Peaks. Whatever you're seeing, I promise it's even better in person, which is why you have to come and see it for yourself. As we head back, I can see that coming around sunset was gonna provide just the views I was hoping for. Arizona is a special place at sunset. We get this yellow orange glow that just continues to grow as the sun goes down. This trail truly has something for everybody. If you're coming out for a spring training game, please put this on the top of your bucket list because I promise you will not regret a second of it. It's the most beautiful hike. It's easy enough that just about everybody can do it and it's only gonna take a couple hours of your day. So Butcher Jones Trail goes at the top of your Arizona bucket list. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time on The Rocks. Hey, when you're out here for spring training, the House of Comedy is the spot to swing by and check out. Have some laughs and have some fun. Baseball, they weighted the balls. They weighted the balls, and the heavier the balls, the far it goes, they found that the heavier balls were in Yankee Stadium. How do you know this? Because of this big, uh, well, I'm, I, I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> and they don't lie on Instagram. There's no lying going on. Quite simply, we'd like to believe we feature the absolute best in stand-up comedy. From beginning to end, we try to create a Vegas-like experience in every city we have a club in, no matter what market. We just want to do comedy right and do right by comedy. Uh, I can't even cook spaghetti, now I'm gonna live off the grid. I'm Sam Tripoli, I'm a stand-up comic and I'm a Dodger fan, never forget that. Thank you, thank you guys for your amazing round of applause that lasted all of 20 seconds, thank you. I love Phoenix, Arizona, and it just keeps expanding. And pretty soon Arizona's just gonna be called Phoenix. We're coming Tucson. We showcase what we believe are the best comedians, not just in North America, but on the globe. We also take a great deal of pride in discovering a lot of up and coming talent that we believe are gonna be the next big comedy stars. We take a lot of pride in knowing how many times we've actually been right on that and we've broken many comedians. I got real jokes, y'all! Listen, the House of Comedy gets all the talent before everybody knows it. Like, they get the young guns, okay? And that's what's always fun to watch somebody catch them as they're shooting up. Scott, Dale, how you doing? Uh, we're located here on High Street, and it's just a fantastic restaurant, shopping, nightlife, bar area. I would say it, for people that are here vacationing for spring training and maybe without a vehicle and Ubering everywhere, here you just get anywhere on the street and you don't need to Uber. You can have a full night of experience without ever leaving. Television loves me. I just got a new TV show, everybody. Yeah. And uh, I've been very blessed to play them. Uh, they played me when nobody else would, and that's why I'm very loyal to them. And I will always play the house of comedy. The food's great, the room's great, the comics are top shelf. And it's just always a great story. Something always interesting happens in the comedy club. I left my hotel without my phone. You ever done that? <laughs> Just walk around town and like, where am I? Where am I? It's not your grandfather's comedy club. It's not the smoky, dingy basement that it once was in comedy. It's certainly now much more of an attraction and the atmosphere and the environment and the aesthetic are now far superior to what they ever were, where it still feels intimate and it still feels like you are part of an experience that you and only a handful of other people will ever get to partake in and that's the emotion we're trying to create every evening. When we come back, Eliav eats some Mexican food as we continue from spring training. Oh, no. 
here you are in Arizona, where time is measured in moments, not minutes. And relaxation is an art form. At the intersection of utter serenity and total awe, where you feel fully present experiencing the past. And you meet your inner foodie for the first time, right at the center of the best time you've had in years. Visit a new state of mind in Arizona. Plan your trip at hereyouareaz.com. Visit us at Harris Auction Casino in the city of Maricopa, where you'll find play for all and friendly people ready to welcome you like family. Welcome back, you two. As the official sponsor of play and the only casino in Arizona with Caesars Rewards, see what a difference it makes to play where your fun is our top priority. Harris Auction Casino, play for all. And welcome to the second installment of Eats with Eliav. I'm Eliav Gabay, joined by Kelly Bolas. And Kelly, we're here at the Valle Luna on Bell Road. So if you're going to visit the Mariners, the Royals, the Rangers, or the Padres, this is the Valle Luna location, even though they are all across the valley. Now, Kelly, the people watching, they're going to want to know about pregame and postgame. So if they're coming to Valle Luna right here, what can they expect? Uh, well, we have amazing happy hours Monday through Friday from uh, 3 o'clock to 7.30. And then on Saturdays from 12 to 6. And Sunday all day long, we have Sunday fun day menu. So okay. lots of drinks and appetizers, food. When I say pregame, we mean pregame, okay? All the way through, starting with these drinks. I'm going to have to take ownership of this fishbowl. Is that okay with you? Oh, yes. Okay, Please, I'm going to give you this, though. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I know you're a beer gal. I am a here's beer gal. Here's this. <laughs> there you go. All right. All right. And here's a bigger cheers for you. All right. So what are we looking at here as we take a sip? What, what, so that's happening? our sangria fish bowl. So there has to at least be two people drinking that. That is a safety warning more than a <laughs> recommendation. OK, this is, this is massive. <laughs> Our margarita, obviously, is our house specialty. Kelly, I think the drinks have had their moment. Now I'm excited because I've been just looking at this food, staring right back at me. Where do we start? I think we should start with uh, one of the tacos. You can get them in shredded beef or shredded chicken. I believe this is just the shredded beef, so. OK, well, let's go for it. All right. I'll take one right here on this side. All we right. can cheers. Well, cheers. Let's go. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, I love the fajitas. So the fajita, you actually take the tortilla and then you load it up with your stuff and then you put this in it too and you make your own taco basically. If we get into all this, I'm not going to be able to talk to you. So <laughs> we're going to keep rolling. What do we have on this side? Okay, so this is the fundido. Which, the fundido? Yes, which I would say is probably the most popular thing on the menu right now. So what it is, is it's the grilled meat on the inside, mm -hmm. although you can get shredded, and then it's got jalapeno cream cheese, mm -hmm. which is our recipe of jalapeno cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's deep fried in a tortilla, and then jalapeno cream cheese, on top again, and then melted cheese over that. 
there's people that I always, you know, talk to on the phone. They call and they're like, oh my gosh, we've done our son's birthday there for the last 20 years. Like, <laughs> yeah. so we always have to do the same reservation every year. So it's really neat that we have a lot of customers that are like that. Get the neighborhood fun bar that's casual. You're going to have fun and get good food at good price. I hope you come, enjoy the food here, and then enjoy the games after. For Kelly, I'm Eliav. Goodbye. This has been Eats with Eliav, and we hope to see you here soon. Want to remind you, when you're looking for the place to stay, okay, you've seen all the fun that we're going to have out here in spring training. It's the Princess Resort in Scottsdale. The Princess Resort in Scottsdale. Make your plans. Bring the family. Bring the fellas. Have some great time. Spring training is, again, just a couple of weeks away. And that's our show for this week. Thanks again for being with us. For all of us, make it a great week. means racking up reward credits with the Caesars Rewards Loyalty Program that can be redeemed for food, free play, hotel stays, and more. Not only here in the city of Maricopa, but also at more than 50 Caesars properties coast to coast. From Paris, Las Vegas, the Caesars Palace in Atlantic City. What are you waiting for? Play for all at Harris Ak Chin Casino, the official sponsor of play.